So in this video we are going to try to synchronize some more to the networking. So as you can see the player is kind of synchronized but when we are fighting with an enemy uh, it starts to bug out that we can see the player animation. We can see some of the enemy animation but we cannot see that it's dying and I know from testing that the health is not synchronizing either so as you can see here we can actually also go and attack this guy until he also dies for this player um, and that is not what we want um, so we want to fix that and this one is mainly focused about the enemy since I have to look at a lot of documentation before I can do these videos so we start with the enemy because I kind of fixed that and then we we're gone from there. So, first of all, we kind of have to uh, make some reference so we can follow along. So, under these goblins, we will add a text, let's see, empty game object and call it uh, health, health display. And we will add an object called text mesh to it, like that. And in the text we will write enemy. So right now it's down there. So let's see. This is just so we can see the health on the enemy on top of them. And we can copy paste it. Actually, we can overwrite it like this. And this guy also get a gets it. And then they both have it. Like that. Okay. So here we want to display the health, so we can kind of watch it on both screens. So what we want to work on is uh, the coupling and the script and for doing this we actually have to make in the beginning I thought we couldn't use like a, uh, the health script for uh, the player and the enemy but now I'm kind of realizing that is a bit too complicated to do it like that so inside scripts we are going to make a, a new script called uh, health player and this health player we are going to our regular health script uh, we can do it like this go into this and take all of the coding like that and put it in here and then we get some errors because we have two more in brackets then we can say namespace of namespace RPG player like that and we want to make some brackets and we want to take all of this inside the brackets like that. So this will be our new player health and now time for something they're really gonna mess up our scripts we need to go into the player we need to see here that we have the health script and we actually need to remove it and we need to add a new health script player and in there we need to add the animator and from there we will get a lot of errors which is easiest way to kind of find out where the errors is just to like kind of log in like this accordingly so we have the first one here saying well this one i cannot find anymore so in here we say health player and this one to health player and it's very important that you just don't just rename this one <laughs> we give a lot of errors um, so there was the first one, compiling, 
reload, clear, start again. And then you think, oh, it's working, everything's fine. Then you go over and you fight an enemy, and you find out, oh, it's not fine. So we have one here, which is health player, health player. And then we also got one down here. In enemy target, that's six. So health player, health player. Clear. Start again and let's see. So we have a fight. The player self is going down, and the goblin self is going down. And let's just for to be sure, let's do like that. To see what happens if you die. Nothing really. Great. So now the health script is working, we can actually start to just change the code. So let's go into the enemy health script, which is now called just plain out health. So here, go to this one. In the health script, we're gonna do a lot of new stuff. So first of all, it's gonna be network behavior, but we cannot write that. So we need to say using mirror, and then we could call it network behavior. So we need to sync something, sync var hook equal name of name of what will be on UI change so we will make some UI that will change and gonna do public float here put it like this and then we'll take this name and then we will go to the bottom, make a void, call it on you, and say float old, float new. So we will take in an old one, a new one, and we need this is just to change the text so we can kind of see one of the problems that we are facing right now. Um, so we will make a public text mesh because that was added to the game object call it ap text is equal to nil and then we will in the start we don't have a start so we say white start we'll say if ap text is not equal to nil then ap text dot text is equal to hp plus 12 points so if there is attached a component to the heavy text we will show the health points and then in the void change ui this one we will say if hp.text not equal to nil then ap text ap text dot text is equal to plus of points and what does this do uh it does so when we put this hopefully display down here and click start. Oh, we forgot to ruin that one. 
but then we can see his health points here and if we attack him we can see that it is updating uh, let's give our player some more health and let's overwrite this and just for checking keep checking with the build run do like this build it and then we see if the text is updating on both client and the server uh, we already had one open so we need to build again So let's just boost it here, C100, and then we go client, we see 100, and when we attack now, we see that it doesn't go down on this one, but if this guy attacks, it is going down. So we have a problem that only the server and not the client over here have it updating and it doesn't keep updating. So we need to synchronize these values as well. So let's go back to the script. And yeah, this is a quite confusing tutorial because, oh Jesus, I used a lot of time on this, but uh, we will manage guys. Just try to keep following along pause it a bit and hang in there let's uh, do public AI let's see we, want, we need using RPG player using RPG combat AI controller AI controller public oh. so now we are also fixing the dev part so we can any target that public AI mover public capsule collider capsule collider and public game object Make a list and say objects to hide, and then we will make a sync var, sync var, which is hook equal name on, uh, we will change this to on is dead changed copy paste that and make a new void up here and say pool old pool new something will happen in here and take this pool over here that okay and at the damage we need to command uh, requires force to use force and then we need to write what happens when we die uh, we also need to make actually an updater. So void update and say if it's not server is server turn then. Okay, let's write this one. It's, it's a long one. Uh, so if is that is equal to false, 
then all of the one we just in AI controller dot enabled equals to true. Let's make one, two, three, four, and say enemy tar oh enemy target and we had AI mover and capsule AI mover and capsule collider all of this is equal to and then we have the for each uh, object in the object to hide so all of these objects in here what will happen to them gonna say object set set active true so if we're not that all of these are true and then we need to make the other one uh, see if I did it properly I did not need to put this inside some brackets like this and this white elf is is that equal to true what should happen then well kind of the opposite so the ui controller is false the enemy is false 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 and we will actually do don't do this part for now because we want to have the animator dot set trigger and use the die so if we are dead we ah yeah we are dead <sighs> and then I So let's put this guy here, 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 and complex to height, put in the eyes. put itself down to 10 and that's fine and let's see what happens oh need to build Server client. So let's see. So if this guy does three damage like that, it's and make him stop. If this guy is going to kill him, it's dead on both screens. So now the health, the animation on the enemy is synchronizing and at a later point we will also synchronize more into the player but for now we have synchronized the enemy so we can start to work on a little bit more into that. So when we go over here you can see oh he's killing someone over here and that person is also dead now. <laughs> 